Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's be- At the moment that all the Tournament of Power had finished, and all the universes had returned to normality, in Universe 7, more specifically on planet Earth, Goku and Vegeta were very thoughtful, knowing that Universe 6, the Saiyan, still existed, and Son Goku had a great idea. Hey, Vegeta, what do you think about reviving the entire Saiyan race? I can't tell you, you knucklehead, since you're the first time you've used your brain. I was thinking the same thing. Of course, Vegeta. Just like in Universe 6, we'll have our entire race, and we can teach the Saiyans how to master the Divine Key. Are you talking seriously, Insect? I'd be the Divine Saiyan race. I think it's an excellent idea. Then let's do it, Vegeta! Goku and Vegeta left quickly all over planet Earth, managing to gather all the Dragon Spheres quickly. However, Goku and Vegeta invoked Shenron at night, since they didn't want to tell anyone about what happened. When night came, Goku and Vegeta quickly invoked Shenron. Shenron, come out and fulfill my wish! Sure, tell me I am able to fulfill three wishes. Three wishes? Wasn't it just one? That's right. Kami-sama made some modifications, giving me a little more power. And thanks to that, I can fulfill three wishes. Well, our first wish is that you revive the entire Saiyan race. At that moment, Shenron's eyes had lit up. Ready. It has been a very easy wish to fulfill. Now tell me, what is your second wish? Hmm, I know. I wish you bring our parents in front of us. Vegeta at that moment would be a little surprised since he didn't expect to see his father so unexpectedly. That's a very easy wish to fulfill. At that moment, Shenron's eyes were also light up. They appeared in front of Goku and Vegeta, his parents. Now tell me, what is your last wish? We don't want anything anymore. You can leave for now. At that moment, all the spheres were scattered again all over the Earth. Where the hell am I? I don't know what happened. At that moment, Bardock would be surprised to see Kakarot in front of him. However, Gina at that moment had thrown herself against Kakarot, giving him a big hug. My little Kakarot, I thought I would never see you again. You have grown so much. How is it possible that we're alive? Or did you die? Oh, so you're my mother. At last I know you. No, of course I didn't die. We only brought you back to life with the Dragon Spheres. At that moment, a great pressure was felt all over the place. Long time no see, my son, the Prince of the Saiyans. Same here, father. It's been so many years. At that moment, the two would embrace. That's right, something that would surprise everyone. Even though we Saiyans have a cold heart, we all love our children. I have to take them to my house so we can meet my wife and children. Our little Kakrat has already become a man. Likewise, father. I'll take you to my home to meet my family. When Goku arrived, Chi-Chi was furious because she didn't know where Goku was. However, when Goku entered the house, Chi-Chi was surprised to see uh, being identical to Goku and a girl with a tail. Goku, who are they? And why didn't you tell me you were going to have a visitor? Sorry, Chi-Chi, uh, they're my parents. At that moment, everyone was a little surprised. Goten at that moment would approach a little shy. Kine would recognize him at any moment as she was identical to Kakarot and Bardock. So you have a wife, my son Kakarot. We're sorry for arriving so unexpectedly, but we wanted to meet the family of our little Kakarot. Don't worry. Right now I'm making some dinner. I'll imagine that you must be very hungry, and being Saiyans, you must eat as much as my Goku. Chi-Chi would quickly go to the kitchen, and at that moment, Gine would go help her. Both would talk at night. Meanwhile, in the Capsule Corporation, Vegeta had arrived with Bulma, who, observing a guy identical to Vegeta, only with a beard, would be very surprised. Vegeta, don't tell me you had an older brother. You never told me anything about your family. King Vegeta would be a little surprised when he realized that she was always only a human. The character was that of a Saiyan woman. Now I understand why you married this woman, my son. Bulma at that moment would be very surprised to hear King Vegeta's affirmation. My son, are you telling me that he's your father? Vegeta, a little blushing, would nod what Bulma said. 
Bulma would send her chefs to make some banquets since they had a very important visitor. Vegeta and his father would begin to tell everything that had happened until the moment in which Trunks would appear. Dad, can we train tomorrow? I don't want to get Goten to surpass my powers. King Vegeta would be filled with pride and happiness when he saw him. So he's my grandson. I am proud of you, Vegeta. You managed to create the family I always wanted. So you're my grandfather? That's right, I'm King Vegeta, and you're my beloved grandson. Everyone would have dinner that night. The next day, all the Saiyans would meet at the Capsule Corporation to introduce the new members. All the Z-Warriors would be surprised to see both guys that look like Goku and Vegeta. However, at that moment, Vegeta would stand in front of everyone. They're our parents, but not only this, since we've revived the entire Saiyan race. Everyone would be surprised, including Bardock, Gine, and King Vegeta himself. Why didn't you tell me that before? We must put order, since all the Saiyan race, the only thing we wanted was the annihilation of all the planets, and it'd be the most powerful race. King Vegeta's right. We must go quickly. In that case, we'll go at this very moment. Everyone, hold on to me. Goku would be quick to use teleportation. Goku was able to reach the Saiyan planet by feeling several presences similar to that of Vegeta and him. At the time of arrival, they would be able to observe how everything was a battlefield, and while in space, the planets were being destroyed. It seems what King Vegeta said was true. At the moment, King Vegeta would stand in front of everyone, raising a great part of his power, even accessing the Super Saiyan leaving Goku and Vegeta surprised. Everyone, calm down immediately. Your king is back. Sir, tell us what your order is. Which planet do you want us to conquer or destroy? Are we ready? We don't know how we came back to life, but now we'll be the most terrifying beings in the universe. Those times are in the past. We're revived thanks to my son and Bardock's son. We no longer conquer or destroy planets. It's my order. Some Saiyans weren't happy about the king's decision. One of them would be Nappa. At that moment, Vegeta, without thinking twice at a high speed, would make him disappear in seconds. After so many years, and you're still a poor insect. If someone else disagrees, you can tell me now, and I'll finish him off. That's right! The war that you even had with the Emperor Frieza is over! I myself was able to end Frieza's life on two occasions! All the Saiyans were surprised to know that a Saiyan was able to reach such a level to end the most feared being in the universe. From now on, we'll only train. We'll be the protectors of the universe. The time to finish with the other races has ended. At that moment, Bardock would access the Super Saiyans in the same way. Train so that you'll be able to reach the Super Saiyan, since all of us can obtain it. Topos, the Saiyans, much more excited to know that they could have had that great power. Would train, and at the time, Vegeta would approach his father. Father, how do you have that Super Saiyan? I thought you didn't have that transformation. You are not the only ones who trained. We also increased our powers. Not like you to a divine level, but we increased it to finish the Frieza. In the past, you would have been able to defeat Frieza, because now Frieza's power is as great as our power. My son, we will train until we reach our limits, and when we're powerful enough, we'll ask them to teach us divine key. Alright, father, I trust you. Increase your powers greatly. My son, I plan to stay on the planet for a few months. Must take care of business with the Rebel Saiyans. I understand, Father. You must not worry. I'll return to Earth to continue training in the same way. I'll not let any other Saiyan surpass me. My son, I'll stay in Up King Vegeta since we have the Super Saiyan. But if some of them join us, they may be able to give him problems. I understand, Father. And I suppose that since you'll stay, my mother will stay too. Goku and Vegeta at that time would return to the planet Earth thanks to teleportation. Kakarot, why don't we go train on Mr. Beerus' planet? Excellent idea, Vegeta. Let me concentrate on the key of Mr. Beerus. Goku and Vegeta at that moment would arrive at Beerus' planet, appearing in front of both of them. Well, well, if it isn't Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta. Hello, Mr. Whis, Mr. Beerus. We've come to Mr. Whis to train us after the tournament. I've been impressed by the amount of powerful guys there are in other universes. And I don't want to stay behind Kakarot's insect. That's what the whole universe 7 needs. Because if the king of everything organizes a new tournament, we should be the winners again. In that case, I'll train you again, but with much more difficulty. Both Saiyans would begin with their great training. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of everything, Daishenka was very thoughtful. 
The power that Son Goku demonstrated leaves me a little worried. Even the power of the Saiyan Vegeta reminds me of the battle we had millions of years ago with the Saiyan Divine Race. For that same reason, the order was given to the god Beerus to exterminate all the Saiyans, since all the Divine Race came from the Universe 7 and Universe 9. At that moment, one of the Guardians would approach Daishaken. What happens to you, Dai? I can see you're very pensive. Is something wrong? Do you remember the battle we had millions of years ago with the Saiyan Divine Race? The Guardian would look at him a little more seriously. That's right. Did something happen? No, not for now. But the power of Son Goku left me thinking about everything that happened millions of years ago. No, Priest. That's why you don't have to worry. Millions of years ago, we were cornered because the whole Saiyan race and possessed Divine Key. But thanks to the Super Dragon Balls, their Divine Essence was sealed. I know, but something doesn't make me feel right. I feel something bad's about to happen. These are purely your ideas. The Saiyan Gods ceased to exist millions of years ago, and the only ones that compare to their power are the Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. If it's only two of them, even you could finish them off. That's fine, I hope it's just me. What Dai Shankin didn't know was that all the Saiyans came back and were more and more powerful to be able to reach their divine essence once again. All the Saiyans were training on the planet. Some ones had already passed, in which some of them had almost completely lost the evil in their hearts. However, two Saiyans did not like everything the king was doing. I don't like what the cursed King Vegeta is doing. We're a warrior race. We mustn't allow this. That's right. This is a damn nightmare. If we were revived to be the guardians of simple worms. We would have been better off staying dead. I have an idea, but you might not like it that much. But there's a 60% chance of taking down King Vegeta and his right hand man, Bardock. What's your plan you have in mind? I'll take all your power. Spiritual devourer, and I can only deal with this. I don't need an insect like you. Damn you, I thought we were in this together. Thousands of energy arrows pierced his entire body, passing all that energy to his own body. Now that I have to do is to dominate all the power of this wretch, and with that power I'll be enough to face both good-for-nothing Saiyans. The Saiyan named Chamba would be isolated from all the other Saiyans to begin training with the purpose of overthrowing the current king. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, Goku and Vegeta would continue training. However, in one of the many battles that both had, Goku was able to leave Vegeta out of combat with a single blow. Since that precise moment, Goku was able to activate the Ultra Instinct, being able to place a blow in a critical point, which had left Vegeta out of combat. Wow, apparently Mr. Goku achieved the Ultra Instinct again without realizing it, but this time he activated the offensive version, that's why he was able to knock out Mr. Vegeta. Whis was able to end the battle, however at that precise moment, Vegeta was able to observe in the depths of his mind, being able to observe himself and even his father. Son, this is your trigger. You need to increase your power much more. I trust you, Vegeta. At that moment, Vegeta regained consciousness and began to release an extremely gigantic power, surprising everyone present. The power he released would be much more he was able to make Goku go back a bit. I don't know what's happening to Mr. Vegeta, but it seems that he is reaching a new transformation. Vegeta would continue increasing his power in a way never seen before. Even the whole Universe 7 began to trouble for such power. At that moment, Vegeta would begin with his new transformation. After a few minutes of increasing his power, a great purple light would be seen all over the place. At that precise moment, Beerus would give a smile. Vegeta being much more destructive than Goku, he wasn't able to reach the Ultra Instinct, but he was able to reach the Ultra Ego, which he was equal with to that Ultra Instinct. Mr. Beerus is right. The destructive aura that Mr. Vegeta possesses makes any opponent who is not at his level not able to hit him, because if he does so, only ashes would be left. Goku would be very surprised to see what he heard from both ideas. The power that Vegeta is releasing is incredible! Vegeta would receive to Goku, and without any words, he would give him a sneaky hit, which would leave him out of combat. Finally be able to overcome Kakarot's insect! At that same moment, Vegeta would also fall out of combat. This seems to me to have been a draw, both have been knocked out. Meanwhile, returning to the planet of the Saiyans, approximately four months had already passed, which Chamba was all ready for his rebellion. The planet of Vegeta has prospered since we put aside the conquest and focused on our level of power. You're right. With this, we'll be able to help if an extremely powerful being appears. 
However, at that very moment, a huge explosion could be seen from King Vegeta's castle. What the hell? The power we feel is overwhelming. I feel even that surpasses us. Oh, now let anything or anyone end the peace we have achieved. Both Saiyans began to head towards the place of the explosion, observing the Saiyan, which Bardock would recognize immediately. Jamba, what are you supposed to be doing? Do you want to die? I want to see you try. Now I've become stronger and I have enough power to finish you all off. I want to check that, damn it. King Vegeta would pass to the Super Saiyan, launching himself quickly against Jamba. However, Bardock would be a little surprised to see how Jamba was able to stop the blow of King Vegeta with one hand. That's all your power? I don't know why the hell the other Saiyans follow a being that's extremely weak. Jamba at that moment would give a great blow to King Vegeta, which would make him go through an entire forest. Bardock, upon realizing this, would transform quickly in the same way to the Super Saiyan throwing himself against Chamba. However, it would be the same result, the power that Chamba had overcome them by dozens of times. Chamba at that moment would begin to give a beating of the two most powerful beings on the planet of Vegeta, completely humiliating them. I have an idea, but you must stall him for about five minutes. I don't know what you have in mind, but hurry up, because if we don't do something, that damn monster finishes off. Our children won't be able to feel our power because of the barrier that was placed on the planet. Flashback. At that moment, you're too weak, so any race can annihilate you. That's why Vegeta and I came to the conclusion to place a barrier around the entire planet of Vegeta. Whatever you decide is fine, since you're much more informed than we are about the changes in this universe. Goku at that moment, with the great yellow energy, was able to cover the entire planet Vegeta. And flashback. The barrier they put up will be the end of it, since no one will feel our powers. Hurry up, Bardock. I'll do whatever it takes to distract him for five minutes. King Vegeta would rush back against Chamba, and a great battle was observed. At that moment, Bardock would go with the other Saiyans, and at that moment, while Chamba and King Vegeta exchanged blows, Chamba would laugh out loud. <laughs> the insect that you consider your right hand has abandoned you. You have no loyalty and no pride as warriors. Bardock would quickly arrive with the other Saiyans, asking them to give him their energies to be able to end Chamba's life. Five Saiyans would accept, which were Bardock's battle group. At that moment, a great power would be felt emanating from Bardock's body. However, from one moment to the next, his power would disappear. That's right, Bardock was able to reach the state of Saiyan God. I don't know what happened to me. I just wanted to fill myself with the power of my comrades. But with his power, I'm sure that I'll be able to defeat that damn Chamba. All over the planet, an incredible pressure was felt, being able to even hold back Champa Little, King Vegeta was on the ground on the verge of death. I don't know what the hell you did, but you succeeded. At that moment, Bardock would stand in front of King Vegeta. From now on, I'll take over. You don't have to worry. You won't be able to beat me just because I changed the color of your hair from gold to red. My power is much greater than yours. Champ at that moment would throw himself against Bardock, but this time the difference in power was clear. That's right, the power that Bardock possessed was capable of ending the life of Champa in a matter of seconds. I don't know how long this power will last, so I'll finish you quickly. I never wanted this to end like this, Champa, but you didn't change the rancor in your heart. Damn you! I swear I'll come back! I'll come back for each one of you! I'll annihilate you! That moment, Bardock would throw a great spiritual cannon at him, reducing Chamba to simple atoms. At that moment, Bardock's state would end up falling to the ground, and the other Saiyans would take both two recovery capsules. Returning to the planet of Beerus, Vegeta, after those four months, was already able to access the Ultra Ego at his own will, unlike Son Goku, who needed to be in danger to be able to attract the Ultra Instinct. It seems that both have increased the powers in an amazing way. The only thing you have to do now is to master your emotions. Mainly you, Mr. Son Goku. The Ultra Instinct is to be calm and peaceful. You must be in a state of relaxation. Why can't I reach the Ultra Ego like Vegeta? I feel it'd be much more easier. The Ultra Ego you'll be able to achieve if your energy is focused on destruction. And it's the opposite with you, Goku, because your energy does not release any destruction. On the contrary, your energy is warm. I understand. All I'll have to do is train harder. I won't let Vegeta surpass me. I'll also be able to access the Ultra Instinct at will. And while you try that, I'll be able to master the Ultra Ego. 
The moment a call from Bomo would ring in Wiss's ear. Mr. Wiss, today I have a meeting on a yacht. All of you are welcome. There will be plenty of food for everyone. Of course we'll be there. At that moment, everyone would arrive quickly with Goku's teleportation. However, at that moment, Goku and Vegeta would teleport back to the planet of Vegeta to invite their parents. But when they arrived, they were surprised to observe some reconstructions. But they were much more amazed when they felt how Bardock's body emanated a Saiyan God-like power. Father, have you achieved the state of Saiyan God? So the Saiyan God state is what I reached that day. I don't know what his name was. At that moment, Bardock and King Vegeta began to explain everything that had happened in the time that which Goku and Vegeta were training. Goku and Vegeta would be very astonished by what both Saiyans said. But it's all over now. We're here to invite you to a party that my wife's going to throw. I can't right now, my son. I'm making some arrangements and taking care of some business in my kingdom. Neither can I, son. I'm King Vegeta's right-hand man and I must help him. Goku and Vegeta would understand, returning to the, quickly to the party, both Saiyans would begin to train in the sea. Meanwhile, returning to the plane of Vegeta, Bardock, knowing how to access Super Saiyan God, began to make everyone else reach that state in the same way. After only one week in which almost all the Saiyan planet had achieved the Super Saiyan God, his power was so much that the barrier of Goku and Vegeta had been destroyed in a thousand pieces, being able to be all divine beings feel the power of the entire Saiyan race. This essence of the power of the Saiyan race. Damn it, I what I feared was so much about to happen. All the divine beings at a great speed came to the planet of Vegeta. Even Goku and Vegeta when Daishank and observed the entire Saiyan race, a shiver ran through his whole being. They still don't have the power they had before, so before they become a nuance, we must finish them off. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta would stand in front of Daishank and... We will not allow that! Sir, Wiss, and Beerus, thank you for everything, but we won't let them finish us off. You guys stay out of it. Don't get involved for us. I don't care if you're Xenosama's friend. Today we'll finish you all off. We won't let ourselves be killed so easily. The battle begins between the Saiyan Gods and the Divine World. Bardock at that moment would be thrown down a mountain by a big fist of Vermouth, who had not endured their disrespect towards Daishankin-sama. Beerus, I don't know what has happened in your universe, and why do so many Saiyans possess the key of a god, but which side are you on? Beerus at that moment would not say anything, and likewise hundreds of Saiyans had rushed against all the gods, which despite being more powerful, were not able to cope with so many warriors with the power of a god. No, 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 this cannot be! History repeats itself again. The Saiyan race exterminates the entire Divine Kingdom. This can't be! At that moment, Goku and Vegeta, in the same way, increased their power to the maximum. Agreeing to their doctrines, at that moment, they had created a great barrier for all the planets, so they would not be destroyed. But this had been enough, since with each exchange of blows, hundreds of planets were destroyed by all the power. Damn it! What do we do? We can't let all this destruction happen! I'm so sorry, but I'll finish each one of you. I'll explain rather than uh, Great Xenosama why I had to end the life of his friend, than all the Saiyans to finish us off. Daishenken at that moment, at an overwhelming speed, had knocked out half of the Saiyan army, and at that moment he would rise to the top of the Universe 7. Energy of total destruction! Divine annihilation! Instantly, a gigantic ball of energy would begin to descend, at that moment, hundreds of Saiyans would begin to stop such a tremendous attack, even giving their lives in the act. King, Prince, Bardock, and Goku, go away from here! You're the hope of all of us, the most powerful Saiyans. At that moment, a ray was about to pierce Bardock, which had been launched by the god Kitila of Universe 4, but at that moment, Grine, Goku's mother, would stand in front of Bardock being completely pierced. Honey. Take care of our little Kakarot, I trust you. At that moment, the mother of Goku and the wife of Bardock had died. A great scream would be heard all over the place. That's right, Goku had felt a great anger, taking much further the anger of a Saiyan, being so much that even had been able to disintegrate all the energy of Daishenken, which would be a surprise by the power that Goku was releasing. How is this possible? I can't believe that Goku had all that power in store. 
Goku's power would continue to increase in an unreal way, which would leave Daishenken-sama astonished, since his powers seemed to have no limit. At the moment, Daishenken would throw a great sphere of energy, but an aura in the form of lightning had disintegrated all of the Daishenken's attack, and from a great explosion, a very different Goku would be observed. I swear that I'll finish with every god that gets in our way. We only want to become more powerful to protect our universe. Th this can't be happening. That Saiyan has taken the Ultra Instinct to a supreme level, being able to access level 2, or better known as the Box of Despair. At that moment, Goku would use teleportation, leaving with the other three Saiyans of the whole place. That's right, Goku knew that despite having achieved all that incredible power, he was not able to face all the gods along with Daishenken. Goku at that time of arriving to the desolate planet would fall out of combat, since his body was not used to such a level, and also all his energy veins had worn out in an incredible way. Damn, the power that Kakarot has achieved is incredible, but in spite of that, I don't know if we'll be able to defeat them all. The power that Daishenken-sama possesses is unreachable. Don't say stupid things. We're the most powerful warrior race of all the universes, and we won't let anything or anyone be able to finish with our people. That's right, Prince Vegeta. Your father's absolutely right. We'll not be the puppets of the divine beings. If they want war, we'll give it to them. Vegeta, much more determined, would put on a serious look. In that case, we better train so we don't get caught off guard. We must have a superior power to every god of destruction. At that moment, Bardock and King Vegeta passed to the Super Saiyan Blue. In the same way, they began to fight with the Prince of the Saiyans, which still surpassed his power by dozens of times. Meanwhile, the Kingdom of All, Daishaken was very thoughtful. This is a megaversal alert. Two of the Saiyans who have escaped are Goku and Vegeta, and their power is about to be complete with the power of an angel. And Goku, with the new power he released, is capable of giving battle to an angel at 78% power. However, at that moment, Xenosama would appear alongside his guardians. Daishaken, Goku's my best friend, but if I have to choose between his life and the lives of millions of beings of the other universes, we'll have to finish with Goku, the Harvesting Demon. My lord, I know that we must finish with Son Goku, but are you sure you want us to invoke the Collector Demon? Ask all the gods to search for the four Saiyans. If we don't find him in the next 48 hours, we'll summon the Harvesting Demon. Gods of all universes, in less than 48 hours we must find the four remaining Saiyans, otherwise we will have to summon a powerful warrior. As you command, Daishinkin-sama. At that moment all the gods had dispersed to all the other universes, and even to every planet to be able to find some of the essence of the Saiyans. Meanwhile with the Saiyans, Vegeta at that moment was training them to be able to do something. However at that precise moment, the god of universe 6 Champa was able to find him. In a very close planet between his universe, at that moment, he would increase his power to the maximum, giving this signal to all the other gods and angels. Damn it! They found us! Let's go, let's go! But it was too late, since at that moment, Champa would throw a great sphere of energy towards all the warriors, not allowing them to escape. Vegeta at that moment would access to the maximum Ultra Ego power. However, at the moment of being about to hit Champa, the 11 gods had arrived to the battlefield, and it was the moment of increasing their power that all made an amazing pressure fall on the whole body of Vegeta, who was not able to move because of such pressure, who was even seemed to be breaking his own bones. Beerus, at that moment, remembered all the moments that had happened to both Saiyans. I'm sorry, Divine World, but I feel that this is not the right thing to do. Beerus in that instant would increase his power to the maximum, leaving surprised all the other gods, which didn't know what was due to such an extremely increased power. His power was so much that for the first time he had shown his true form. That's right, the god Beerus, the most powerful of all, had accessed his combat form. A great light of destructive energy could be seen Beerus in its most powerful form. At that moment, left out of combat five of the gods quickly. Vegeta, get out of here. I'll stop you for a short period of time since the High Priest is coming to this place. Mr. Beerus, that is the right decision. Don't forget it. At that moment, I shake it had appeared in front of all the warriors. Beerus will die, but you're the main threat. Die, mere mortals. 
who do not know how to recognize a divine power. At that moment, Whis would appear in front of all the other warriors. Mr. Vegeta, I count on you. The divine world has changed so much. I don't know why, but I'll give my life for you. Don't die. Now go away. What the hell are you doing, Whis? What I think is right. At that moment, Daishaken, without caring that it was his son, would increase his power of his power, creating a big explosion and ending the life of Whis. At that moment, Vegeta would be teleported to a place far away from the 12 universes. Damn it. Beerus and Whis gave their lives for us. I swear I won't let them down. I'll avenge them. But where the hell are we? At that moment, in Vegeta's mind, he could see Whis. If you see me, this is because I have died but I have teleported you to a place much farther away from the 12 universes. Train, become more powerful. I promise, Whis, that we'll bring you back to life along with Lord Beerus. Meanwhile, on the frontiers of Universe 7, Daishaken was furious, and at that moment, he would stand in front of Beerus. Beerus, you being the most powerful god among all the others, you've decided to give your pathetic life to those mere mortals. You'll pay for this with blood. You're wrong. We can't take the lives of mortals. They feel love, terror. They're similar to us. Daishaken at that moment had given him millions of blows, which Beerus was not able to observe at all. That's right, Daishaken's speed was millions of times superior to Beerus' speed. Beerus, I have nothing to gain by ending your pathetic life. Swear your loyalty to us, and I promise to let you live. And I don't care if you dust me. You the king of everything and go to hell. I'll never be on your side. Daishaken, furious at that moment, would create a small sphere of energy in one of his fingers, with which he made Beerus' his whole body become simple dust of the universe. Damn. After all, it seems I will do to revive the Demon Collector. But it's the least I want to do. When Daishaken returned to the realm of the Hulk, Xenosama would give the order to summon the Harvesting Demon. With angelic and demonic power, I, the High Priest, Summon the Harvesting Demon. You can return to the Earthly World. At that moment, rumblings all over the place would start. That's right, the power released by that guy was incredible. So much was his power that he was even destroying most of the planets of all the 12 universes. Ugh. After millions of years, I have been released. But what do we have here? If it is the little Xeno Sam and his crappy priest, what do they want from me? Demon Collector Kimura, we need your help. Of course I know. If I didn't need it, I would have not been summoned. But tell me, what do you want? The Shaken at that moment would begin to explain everything that happened with the Saiyans' divine race and would awaken the interest of the Demon Collector. Alright, I promised the end of the lives of the four Saiyans. But I want you to offer me your blood, along with some of the blood of the king of everything. But why do you want both bloods? It doesn't matter what you want. It's okay. Just kill them to end this damn nightmare quickly. At that moment, the demon would begin to fly through all the universes at an incredible speed. So much was his speed that even distorted the same space. Being a supreme demon, his perception of key was much higher, feeling the same essence far away from the 12 universes. It seems that they're on the border of another multiverse. How interesting. Meanwhile, with the Saiyans, Goku at that moment regained consciousness, coming to his senses. Ouch! My head hurts! What happened? Where are we? At that moment that Goku would wake up, Bardock would update him on everything that had happened during the time that Goku remained unconscious. Goku would be surprised to know that the deities of Universe 7 gave their lives so that they would be able to escape. Mr. Beerus! Mr. Whis! We'll find a way to bring them back to life, no matter who our opponent is. We'll overcome all our limits. Gakrod, we better start training now. Otherwise, we'll be attacked again, and we won't be able to do anything. However, at that precise moment, all of Goku's power would begin to overflow. While inside his being, Kakarot had been able to awaken after several years, as he felt Goku's fury. It's time for us to unleash all our power, to become one being again. Goku would continue to increase his power to the maximum, which would even attract the attention of the demon, which had felt all the power of the Saiyan. The Collector Demon had felt all the incredible power that Goku was releasing. 
being able to locate them with much more pressure. However, at the moment of approaching the planet where there were an incredible pressure would fall on the entire body of the Collector Demon, which despite its great power would be dragged to the ground as if it were simple garbage. What the hell is this? How does a simple Saiyan possess all this overwhelming power? Goku's power would continue to increase in an overwhelming way. So much would be his power, he was even able to access his most primitive form of Super Saiyan. Yes, Goku had access to Super Saiyan 4, but his fur was a divine white color. But in that transformation, he did not have the necessary power to reason. At the time, all those present would fall to their knees to not withstand the incredible pressure of Goku. Kakarot, stop! What the hell are you doing? Don't forget the goal we have here, which is to avenge all the Saiyans along with our gods. I swear I'll finish those bastards. I don't care if Xenosama calls himself my best friend. Even with a damn midget, I'm gonna finish him off. However, at that moment, a great pressure would be felt as well. It was the pressure of the mighty Kimura, who wanted to obtain the blood of the King of All together with the Saiyan blood to be able to awaken his true power and demonic lineage. I don't know what the hell you have all that power, but I'll kill each one of you. Kimura immediately launched an attack towards Goku, but with his great pressure, he would cause incredible damage to the three Saiyans, who didn't have the same power as Goku. Kimura was able to connect his blow to the face of Goku, sending him flying to a planet, which would be dragged by a few mountains by the power of the blow. Kimura would quickly create a gigantic energy slingshot, throwing it at him. Without thinking, a huge explosion would be created all over the place. Kimura, without wasting time, would massacre the three uh, warriors who were not able to do anything against his powerful warrior. Uh, uh, this is the end of us. We can't even do anything against this guy. Now die. You're no use to me even as a warm-up. When he threw an energy sphere, it would be evaporated by the simple aura of Goku. That's right, Goku had received a scratch from Kimura's previous attack. I don't know who the hell you are, but at this moment, I'll finish you and every being of divine energy. We Saiyans will be the rulers of everything in existence. Goku, without letting Kimura react, had returned such a mortifying blow. But this time, the blow that Goku had connected had sent him to a planet destroying it completely by the incredible power of the blow, Kimura would recover, but he would spit large amounts of blood because the power of Goku was overwhelming. Damn Saiyan, I don't care who the hell you are, I'm gonna finish you off right now. I won't let this humiliation pass me by. Kimura would begin to release lightning from his body, with which his power was increasing in a big way. So much was the difference in his power that even the distortions of his power reached the realm of the whole. That's the power of Kimura. That's incredible. Apparently he's found the last four Saiyans. However, a power that's much greater than Kimura's would be felt by the entire realm of everything. That's right, Goku at that moment would unleash his true power, which even made the most powerful deities of the 12 universes tremble. This can't be happening. Can't believe it. Son Goku's power is overwhelming. Die Shaken! We have to do something, otherwise all of us will die! Gods and angels, gather in the realm of the whole. It's a universal emergency. However, no angel or god responded to his call. Daishenken, a little surprised, observed from his staff what had happened. That's right, with the simple pressure of Goku, all the angels and gods were converted into simple cosmic dust. My lord, this is bad. We can't do anything since all the gods and angels have been eliminated by the simple pressure of Goku. In that case, we'll have to go only you and I. But in that case, I'll have to merge with my guardians to have a better chance. Xenosama at that moment would begin to merge with his guardians, and the power he felt would also be incredible. Instantly, a big explosion would shake the whole place, which had left Daishenken surprised, being the first time to observe Xenosama in that transformation. My lord, he controls all his power in that form? Well, of course not, since I have never needed my combat form. This situation warrants it, otherwise we wouldn't have a chance against that Saiyan. Instantly, with the great dimensional power of Xenosama, they arrived in a matter of seconds, where the great battle was taking place. Daishenken observing how the trio of warriors were in the sphere of energy that Goku had created so that they would not be affected by gravity, would throw a great sling of energy with which he was about to collide with them. Goku, with great speed, would hold Kimura by the neck, going in front of that great attack. At the moment, the whole body of Kimura would be disintegrated 
by the attack of Daishaken. Leaving absolutely nothing of Kimura, Goku would return to observe the trio of warriors, throwing them a great golden sphere of energy. At the moment, the three warriors were filled with great power. I plan to face Sinosama, but I want you three to face that bastard Daishaken. Today we'll give all this for it finished. Of course, my son. This will be the revenge of the Saiyans and for your mother. The tree of warriors had expelled a gigantic power, launching it towards Daishaken. Mere mortals, even though you're three against one, you don't have the bestial power that the Saiyan by the name of Goku has. Daishank would throw himself against the Tree of Warriors, who was surprised to realize that the power of the Tree of Warriors had shot up in an unreal way. Because of the power that Son Goku had given them, instantly Vegeta, with a great blow, was able to send Daishank to crash into a nearby planet. Xenosama, you are my best friend! Why did you do this? What the hell have we done to you? Goku, you were my best friend too, but I can't allow the entire divine world to fall because of the resurgence of the Saiyan divine race. Xenosama, in that instant, would bestow a blow which did make Goku move an inch. That's all the power you have? You're nothing but a simple vermin. Compared to me, you're absolutely nothing! Goku, with his great speed, would begin to give a great beating to Xenosama, in which each exchange of blows, Xenosama was very badly injured. By the incredible power that gave off Goku, and due to his great power, the power of his blows was evident. Xenosama, at that moment, with his great speed, was able to take distance. Damn. What the hell are you? Your power even surpasses the Saiyan gods of the past! I am a Saiyan who is raised on Earth, but I have the pride of all the other Saiyans. Don't talk nonsense, you're just another worm! You don't have the power to face me! How about this? Xenosama had increased his speed a thousand times, so he was moving at an incredible speed, giving him millions of blows to Goku's body, but to Xenosama's surprise, his fists were bleeding for each exchange of blows. That's right, Goku's body seemed to be made of steel, since even the fists of a king were severely damaged by the hardness of his body. Well, are you finished? Since those fists weren't able to even tickle me. Xenosama at that moment was very serious, but inside he could not stand the fear since he wanted to flee from the place. However, he would be surprised when he realized how Daishankin was being slaughtered with the blows in the same way. This can't be happening. They must not have the overwhelming power. You don't know what we're capable of. You've messed with the most powerful Saiyans of all time. We won't lose like our ancestors did. Daishaken in that instant would be sent to fly to a planet. Vegeta, with his maximum power, would launch his most powerful attack. Daishaken would try to stop it, but it was being impossible. Instantly, a powerful purple fire dragon was heading towards Daishaken. The attack would be able to pulverize Daishaken because the power was overwhelming Daishaken would be in simple ashes. This must be a damn nightmare! This can't be happening! You are the mere dregs compared to our power! Find out by your own hands if we're mere dregs! Now only you are missing! There is nothing you can do! Zito-sama, this time, overcame with terror, would begin to expel much more power, with which he was able to make the three Saiyans be a little affected by the pressure of the king of everything. Don't mind dying in this damn battle, but I'll not go alone to the other world. You damn worms will come with me. Divine seal annulment! In that instant, a great red pentagram would form all over the place, from which a disgusting power would enter the body of Xenosama, which was forming a new subject, which even had several horns all over his body. That's right, it was more like a demon. Oh yes, I hope you're ready to die. I never thought of using the forbidden power of the Archangel of Death, but I have been left with no other alternative. Xenosama on this occasion, with the new power he had obtained, was able to connect a blow to Goku, which this time made him vomit large amounts of blood. Damn it, the power of that wretch has risen in an unreal way. I'm not able to assimilate it. It's a gigantic power. I'm sure that my son will be able to defeat him, because if he doesn't, no one will be able to face this monster with the thirst for revenge. Kakarot, I hate to admit it, but Bardock's right. If you're not able to do anything against those guys, we'll be finished quickly. We trust you. Goku at that moment, if he was about to receive another blow, he would be able to react, connecting a powerful blow in the same way that made him bleed. What? How is this possible? That power shouldn't be enough to hurt me! <laughs> you can't imagine how powerful I am now, so you better not trust me, because I'm going to finish you off at the slightest carelessness. Both beings began to exchange blows at incredible speeds. 
which were not able to be perceived by the other warriors. The only thing we could do is to give all our power to Kakarot. That's right, Vegeta. It is the most powerful and reasonable thing to do, so we must do it. You better not waste my power, you damn insect. At the moment, the power of the warrior trio would enter all of Goku's spiritual sea, which would be completely filled with power. Instantly, Goku would feel like he was exploding. I'm not gonna waste all this power, so die, you damn you! Goku would throw a great attack with which he had planned to finish with Xenosama, but this one would not stay behind. Throwing a powerful attack, however, the condensed power of Goku had overcome the attack of Xenosama being reduced to simple atoms. I have been able to defeat the king of everything. Goku would fall out of combat due to excess power he had used. After a few months, Goku would re completely recover and they were able to use the Super Dragon Balls. Tell me, what is your wish? I wish for you to revive the entire Saiyan race again. That is very easy wish to fulfill. Zarma, at that moment, was able to revive the entire Saiyan race, which were the protectors of all the universes, and the only gods that existed were the deities Beerus and Whis. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Oh, my God.